Hello and welcome back to Through the Bible with Papa George. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. If this is your first time, I'd like to welcome you to the channel uh, where we go through the Bible. Uh, hopefully we can get through this through the entire Bible um, in less than five years, hopefully. Um, but I am going to change a couple things on the broadcast. Um, for one, um, I'm going to just be praying before um, just to cut back on time for the video itself. And also I'm going to introduce a new uh, thing into the video that if... Um, if you have questions in the comments, um, I will give you a shout out afterwards and and I will answer your question on the following video. So if you have an interesting question that you want uh, to to uh, ask, um, go ahead and ask it in the comments and then I will get to the comment and answer it on the next video. So uh, if you want a free shout out, go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. This is uh, Genesis chapter 5 now. and. Um, Actually, I'm going to be a little bit honest. Um, Genesis chapter 5 is a genealogy, and people tend to skip over these things because they you know, can be a little boring. So I'm going to read the whole thing. Like I usually go verse by verse, but I'm going to read the whole thing, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to explain a few things, okay? So Genesis chapter 5, verse 1. I'm going to go right through it. This is the book of the generations of Adam. When God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. Male and female, he created them, and he blessed them and named them man, which also means Adam, when they were created. When Adam had lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness after his image and named him Seth. The days of Adam after he fathered Seth were 800 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. When Seth had lived 105 years, he fathered Enosh. Seth lived after he fathered Enosh 807 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Seth were 912 years and he died. When Enosh had lived 90 years, he fathered Kenan. Uh, Enosh lived after he fathered Kenan 815 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Enosh were 905 years and he died. When Kenan had lived 70 years, he fathered Mahalel. Kenan lived after he fathered Mahalel 840 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Kenan were 910 years and he died. When Mahalel had lived 65 years, he fathered Jared. Um, Mahalel lived after he had fathered Jared 830 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Mahalel were 895 years and he died. Uh, when Jared had lived 162 years, he fathered Enoch. Uh, Jared lived after he fathered Enoch 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Jared were 962 years and he died. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he fathered Methuselah. Enoch walked with God after he fathered Methuselah 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. When Methuselah had lived 187 years, he fathered Lamech. Methuselah lived after he fathered Lamech 782 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died. When Lamech had lived 182 years, he fathered a son and called his name Noah, saying, Out of the ground that the Lord has cursed, this one shall bring us relief, or rest is the word in Hebrew, from our work and from the painful toil of our hands. Lamech lived after he fathered Noah 595 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Lamech were 777 years and he died. After Noah was 500 years old, Noah fathered Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Okay, now that I read the whole text, I want us to get into a few key points here. Um, the first one is found uh, on the first three verses um, because we know that when God created Adam, he creates Adam in his own image. Um, but it's interesting that in verse 3, it says that Adam fathered a son in his own likeness after his image. So it's interesting that we have a copy of a copy. So that Seth, from that point on, um, is not so much in the likeness of God, but in the likeness of his father, which is Abraham. I mean, I'm sorry, Adam. Um, and so this might mean something. It could mean something. But what I what I, I tend to think is, and you know, 
uh, when we look at DNA, you know, when I, uh, this I'm going to get real scientific in this and I hope I don't bore everybody to death. But uh, when we look at DNA, it no, we know that anytime that there's a, a, mute, a mutation in the DNA, when there's a mutation in the DNA, that information is lost. OK, so so it's like when you make a copy, uh, I don't know if you, some of you all remember, like in the old days, we had these co things called copier machines. And if you made a copy of a paper, and then you made a copy of that copy, it lost quality. And every time you made another copy of that paper, it got it got worse and worse and worse and worse. And so it's kind of the same thing with DNA, that when God creates our DNA without sin, without any, any anything wrong with it, the DNA would have been perfect and, and there would not have been mutations, there would have been changes. But something changes with Adam that the DNA changes and it gets worse and worse, okay? So um, the other thing is that I want you all to notice uh, is that they were long years and uh, the first thing that most people like to say is well you know I don't understand how could people live 900 years and that and that but here's the thing which, which is really interesting um, you know scientists uh, find these huge skulls right and and they're different and they want to call them Neanderthals and they say these are Neanderthal they're not human blah 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 but this is not true because we know that um, one of the things one of the key things that we can look at in these old skulls is that we know that as a person grows older, so if you notice, like when, when when a baby's born, they have a big head in the back, right? The baby's head is really big. But as as a human grows, the skull grows for, forward, okay? So, so you tend to lose this big part of the back of your head. If you look at an adult, that the back of their head seems a little more flat. And then what happens is that the front, the brow right above the eyes begins to get thicker and thicker and thicker the older you get and so these skulls of neanderthals actually are they're human and they actually show that these were very 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 old people i mean talking like hundreds of years old and that's what would happen if someone uh lived to be seven eight nine hundred years old is that this brow in the front of the skull would continue to grow and grow and become thicker and thicker as they grew older so there's evidence for that now. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about here <clears throat> is that Enoch is introduced. Now Enoch is an interesting, very, very interesting person in the Bible. Okay, um, and which what's what I think is interesting is that Enoch is mentioned in the Old Testament. He's mentioned throughout the New Testament, but we don't have a lot about Enoch himself, right? All we get is this little key, this little uh, clue. Uh, in verses um, 22 through 24 it says that Enoch walked with God now this is a literal walking with God that that God was in a person form walking side by side with Enoch so this is not just like oh you know like when people say oh I want to walk with God and you know it means that we're walking like in a spiritual sense but this is a physical sense of Enoch walking side by side with God in the physical form that we're going to find over and over in the scriptures uh, as we go through the Old Testament. A lot of people, you know, want to say, well, you know, God is just a spirit being and he doesn't show up in the Old Testament. He only shows up when Jesus is born. And that's not true. We're going to see this over and over and over and over and over and over in the Old Testament that a physical form of God was in the Old Testament. And here we have the very, you know, one of the first, we already saw it in, in Genesis where it says, you know, that they heard the, you know they heard God walking in the garden and that his presence was there so he was physically there but the other interesting thing is that this in, in, in verse 24 that it says Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him now this means that Enoch actually never died he never tasted death God literally takes him into heaven which means that his body, his physical body, is in the heavenly realm. This is an, the opposite of what we're going to find out later when spiritual beings take physical forms. And now we have the opposite, that God takes a physical being named Enoch and he takes him into the heavenly realm. Which is an interesting thing. I want everyone to remember this as we go into the study. Remember this, uh, this, this entire passage about Enoch. Because Enoch is going to be a very, very important person. And we are going to get a little more into his life. Um, I might take a break from Genesis when we when we get to ne the next chapter in chapter six, because I really want to talk more about Enoch and why he's so important to the biblical text and why he's so important to uh, going through the Bible. Okay, 
Um, so I know that this is a, a little bit of a short, um, uh, short broadcast, but uh, there's really not much to talk about here. We could talk about the lineages and who these people were, but the, uh, I mean, obviously they were all important, and there's a reason why God puts these lineages in there in the text, and that's so that we can understand something that we're going to get into in the next chapter. So I'm not really going to talk about it too much, but when we get into the next chapter in the next video, we'll understand why God puts, you know, the lineage of each person and why it's important that we know that so-and-so uh, begat so-and-so begat so-and-so and why it's important that it's not just something that we just throw away like, okay, big deal. Who cares, you know, how many kids this person has. It's going to be important in the next chapter, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed that broadcast, this broadcast. If you did, please, please, please give me a like, because the likes will really push this video forward. Um, and so, you know, it'll get up there so more people can hear this. Also, uh, make sure you share this and, you know, just uh, hit that share button uh, and share this video with someone that you might think would be interested in uh, going through the Bible. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed up until now, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the, no the, the bell notification so that you can get notifications when I get a video out. I'm trying to put one out every single day, but I do all the editing myself, so it's a little bit tough to do it. Um, so until next time, guys, be blessed and be a blessing to others. We appreciate you.